Welcome back. We are here with part eight of our Celebrity Club Let's Play, and we are going to participate in Talk Like a Pirate Day. And as you know, this is the Vanessa show, so we're not really focusing on any other Sims. I don't really care if they do well on the holiday or if they have any needs, we'll just cheat them. We are just focused on her. And we are going to our next gig, which we're all ready for. And I want to just preface this by saying I'm trying to get as many of these parts pre-recorded as I can before I go on vacation. Um, so I will be away for 10 days, but I'm trying to pre-record if I don't succeed in completely pre-recording for the whole time that I'm gone. Just know that that's why there might be some videos that aren't you know, every day and why is this girl's hair changed depending on how I look at her. <laughs> Um, but also, yeah, so I'm trying to pre-record. I really do want to get this mini-series done before I go away. And I think there'll only be a couple more parts because we're doing pretty good on our aspiration. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But we are just making it work. And we are going to try and get to celebrity level 5. And also you know complete that aspiration and we're already actress level 10 and so that is all set and we also I mean we haven't won any awards yet that's kind of a bummer we've only been to one starlight accolades though so we'll have to think about that but anyway um, we're in a Western uh, like a post-apocalyptic alien Western not really sure um, but she is talking about that time that she fought the aliens and she won against them. So then she went and had a drink at the bar and played her guitar. So I'm just like hanging around places hoping that someone will ask Vanessa for a picture because that's what we need. We need a picture. We need someone to ask us for a picture. Super annoying, but we're dealing with it. And we are now celebrity level four. See that shine? See that glow? Yes, we're doing it, you guys. Also, the Romance Festival is happening right now, so I was like, this is perfect. We will go to the Romance Festival and get married spur of the moment and get some fame from that. So here we are, and everyone's looking at her now that she's all shiny and four-star celebrity. And so her and Thorne are going to get spur of the moment married here. Looking good. Going really well, I think. Trying to get some pictures. So that is the wedding. Very, very nice. She is really happy. So there's that. And we're going to go drink some soccer tea. And she has to go to the bathroom. And she's starting to get hungry. So we're going to do those things too. But she's just kind of standing around, like I said, hoping that someone will ask her for a picture. We're now posing for pictures. Look at that. Very nice. And yeah. So no one's really asking her for a picture, which is so, so annoying. That is literally the bane of my existence but it's fine we're gonna get some ramen while we're at it she does not know how to use chopsticks so that's where we're at she is so cute i mean look at her face when she chews i love the animation for the eating it's so adorable so we are also gonna ask for about our current relationship and he says oh yeah it's a relationship for the ages like yeah okay <laughs> i guess we're the same kind of trashy it's fine and we are going to cheer. I kind of hate the cheering thing because it like looks so annoying. Like if I was near an actual celebrity and they started like jumping up and down and being like, yeah, like let's get hyped. I'd be like, excuse me. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Talk Like a Pirate Day is now over and I still can't get anybody to ask her for a picture, which is super annoying, but it's just the way we live our lives, I suppose. And we will probably be heading home very soon. We also need a new gig. So we're going to put in for an audition and then head home. So we are actually going to also move houses though. So in the divorce, Thorne got one of their houses. And um, so we are going to live there. And honestly, I just like threw down some pre-made rooms because this house was horrible before. And honestly, it's still kind of horrible now. <laughs> um, the first floor there is all the bedrooms. And then the second floor is like the living area. And um, yeah, so 
Anyway, it's it's not great. And also, this lot has terrible, terrible camera problems. I mean, I can't even believe it. Because I keep getting, like, thrown around by the camera. Probably because we're on a hill here. Whatever. So, we are now just uh, having our butler bake a cake for Saturn's birthday, which I totally forgot about. And unfortunately, he just ages up without the birthday cake. So, I'm going to make him hot-headed because, I mean, he... He's got it tough. I'm not surprised that he gets angry all the time. Um, also, I'm just going to show you the kids really quick. Here is Saturn, and then here is Juno and Venus. So those are our kids. Every single child has a different color of blonde hair. <laughs> Don't know what's up with that, but anyway. So we're not really paying attention to the children either. Maybe I'll, um, I'll give you an update later. Like, after this series is over, maybe I'll play with the kids for a little while and then just kind of give you an update. But I'm not planning on continuing this generationally. And look, the welcome wagon is here, which is hilarious because it is Judith and then Octavia and Orange. So Thorne's old family is here. And there's Orange, all grown up. Very bulky. And then there's fans outside. So I was like, Vanessa, quick, go stand out there. Try to get a picture. <laughs> And so then Thorn is going to see Octavia. I don't know why the game redressed her into some CC, but whatever. So Thorn is going to see Octavia and be like, you know, his career is totally tanking it at this point because of um, he can't write his own songs. And he's just a hot mess. And basically at this point, now that the divorce is official, he's living off of Vanessa. So he's like, Octavia, please, like, take me back. <laughs> um I also forgot to paint this part of the wall. But anyway, he's like trying to get back in Octavia's good graces so that maybe she'll write him some songs and help him out. But um, so they woohoo. And yeah, my camera is just totally hurting me. Also, that light is too big for that room. So anyway, he did end up getting Octavia pregnant. <laughs> and they're all like halfway through their adulthood. So, you know, yellow. <laughs> I mean, but it's fine. So they are... You know, he's a cheater. We already knew that about him. So, Octavia is now pregnant. Honestly, Octavia doesn't care about him. But, you know, she's cool with having another baby. I mean, she's not remarried or anything. Maybe I should do an update on her, too. I'll think about it. If I remember, I will. And then, what else? We are going to just assign a bed here to Saturn. These are all pre-made rooms, so I didn't really do anything there. We're going to have Vanessa stand outside and hope that someone has to take her picture. Um, Thorne is doing all right. Everyone is doing okay, except Saturn is upset that we missed his birthday. But, like, I'm sorry. I was trying to get to you in time. It just didn't work out. So Thorne is going to continue to do drugs. And we are just hanging out, making sure the children are all set. They're all just kind of standing outside for some reason, so I'm going to teleport them back inside. Well, I don't even know if they've ever been inside of this house. <laughs> so, anyway. We are... She's sleeping. Okay. We are sleeping and uh, trying to be prepared for our audition. She already has the skills that she needs, so that's fine. And now we are going to go to the map view. Like I said, I'm just really, really trying to get her to get that last picture it's really hard I don't like waiting <laughs> I want to be able to do something about it you know I don't want to just wait for it to happen that was one of the annoying things about the um, snowy escape uh, aspiration too because it was like you know get attacked have the weather be bad and it's like uh, that stuff is not under my control so anyway we're gonna go stand outside in the middle of the night and like some guy in a hoodie who I can't see I mean I could see their face if I turned the camera but I was like hello this isn't scary at all <laughs> it's okay there are lots of people there so um yeah she is just gonna stand there she's just gonna stand there and stand there and stand there okay so I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys I have no idea what happened in the time in between just then and just now because uh I my dog was crying at the door so he was like he wanted to go out he had to go number two and so 
I was like, okay, hold on. And I paused OBS and I paused the game and then I took the dog out. And when I came back, we were at home. She failed the audition. Everyone was miserable. I have no idea what happened. I think, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I paused the game. So uh, I don't know, somehow the game got possessed and unpaused itself and then it just kept running. And I, I honestly don't know what happened in between now and then. So, um, Anyway, we're, we signed up for a new audition. I think it's like some superhero or something. Yeah. Uh, so that's, <laughs> that's the way things are right now. Um, and I'm just going to accept it. We're just never going to know what happened in those moments. Uh, Thorne is home from work here. Octavia is still pregnant. And we're just hanging out. We're going to get our needs up a little bit and put away some of the yucky food. And wait until the morning to actually do more stuff. So here is our kid, Saturn. I actually do like the planet things. <laughs> um, I should try the solar system legacy challenge at some point. Also going to be honest, um, our butler died. <laughs> our butler just dropped dead that's great um and vanessa doesn't even care she's just like eating her food and she's like whatever but she does get sad for a while so there's that um you know you win some you lose some also we are going to go again out just hoping that somebody will take a picture with her it's the best i can do here i really don't know what else to do is to, besides like hang out in places where sims will show up and then hope that someone takes her picture but you know, I have to kind of decide to what my plan is. I don't really have a plan. <laughs> I'm just winging it. So, yeah, look, she's super sad. She also does not like that the paparazzi are taking her photo. She does not appreciate the harassment. But I need you to stand there, and I need you to um, get a picture. It's still not working, so we head home. I, I didn't show you all the video of her standing there because that's boring. And it still didn't work, so there's that. It's like, is anybody please just going to come by my house and look, Octavia's here and pregnant. Like, is that, is she showing off? Is she trying to taunt us? What's going on here? I think she is. I think she's, I think she's kind of like taunting us a little bit. But also, um, yeah, I think Vanessa is kind of not super happy with Thorne right now. She's just like annoyed and we need to research our angry emotions, so she's going to practice on him and be angry at him. And so she's just going to chew him out in front of this fan and, like, just be like, you're so useless, you are useless with the children, your career is useless, your celebrity status is fading, like, what did I marry you for if you're not going to be famous, and, like, blah, blah, blah. And look, oh, thank you for taking a picture with us. Thank you. So... We got our last picture. Now we need to get to celebrity level five, have 25 cheers and sign three autographs. So she is going to work on her fitness as well for the gig. And then also she has to be friendly with her co-stars. So those are a couple things she has to do. And she's still sad over the death of the butler. I mean, the butler did raise her children. The children are sad. Uh, Saturn is especially sad because that butler has raised him since a baby. So... Our next butler, though, seems to be younger. Doesn't have gray hair, so that's probably good. He'll be around for a little while. So, that's nice. Anyway. Um, we have... What else? Just everybody doing their thing. And just checking in on the kids. Birthday is Saturday. The, the twins' birthday is on Saturday. And then maybe we'll go to the Starlight Accolades again on Sunday. Judith's calling. Hey, Judith. Also, Vanessa's getting hungry, so let's get something to eat. She looks so good in that robe. Excellent. Um, also, I did a terrible job with this house, considering you can see a room from the landing. And she is going to call over everybody. But here's the problem, is because people show up in front of the house because of the lot traits, um... I can't, I don't know who's our co-star and who's just like a fan hanging out outside. So that's a little weird, but uh, these are actually all fans and I don't know that. So there's Octavia again. She just keeps getting more and more pregnant. Thorne is going to be paying a lot of money in child support. Hmm. Anyway, 
Ooh, and everyone's into her. I mean, of course they are. Look how beautiful she is. So, yeah, I thought that that might be our co-star, but it's not. There's Larry. So we can always count on Larry. What am I going to do when Larry dies? <laughs> you guys. Um, okay, so Larry uh, is going to chat. He's tense, though. That's too bad, Larry. Um, so we're going to hang out with Larry, chit-chat with him for a while. We're actually going give, to give him an autograph, which is hilarious. So we are going to give Larry and our other co-star, whose name I don't know, an autograph. And that'll be our three autographs, although you'll see in a sec. But anyway, we also want to get to five stars, but that's going to take a little bit. We're going to do some cheering. That didn't help us at all, but you know, whatever. We're going to give this other guy our autograph, but if you look, he doesn't, he doesn't want it. He's like, are you kidding me? I am also an actor. I'm like kind of famous too. You're giving me your autograph. So anyway, <laughs> we're going to wrap up there for today. Just um, enjoying Vanessa's four star celebrity status, her fancy wedding. We're going to have to do more things outside, I think, to get uh, her celebrity status up as well. We had Thorn Chi on her. It's just like, ugh, Thorn is just a loser. Like, she married him because he was supposed to be, like, famous and supposed to be on the up and up, but it turns out he was just riding his wife's coattails, and Vanessa doesn't really have coattails to ride, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, we got three kids to take care of, not that she takes care of them, and we will continue on this journey in the next one.